guys, this is your rounding introduction. And we're going to start off with a curved number line, which you might have seen in the past in third grade or fourth grade. In fifth grade, we're going to round a decimal like this. Seven and 315 thousandths. Uh, if I want to round this to the nearest whole number or the nearest unit, that's going to be this number right here, the seven. So I need to think about on my number line, which two whole numbers is seven and 315 thousandths between. I know it's between seven on the low end. The next whole number up is eight. Right in the middle, straight in the middle of seven and eight is going to be seven and a half, 7.5, seven and five tenths. If it helps you, since I have three digits after the decimal point, to add some zeros after the five, you can definitely do that. Your next step is going to be to find where on this number line the seven and 315 thousandths fall. And it's here-ish. like to think of it as a ball or a car, like you saw little William rolling down the ramp. And that ball is definitely going to roll down this ramp to the seven. So that means for us, seven and 315 thousandths rounds to or is about equal to seven. You might see it written as 7.000. And we can do another number. Uh, we can take the same number and round it to a different place value position. So, so we can take seven and 315 thousandths. This time we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. So we're going to think about which two tenths is seven and 315 thousandths between. I know that if I kind of think about it stopping right here, it's between seven and three tenths. That's the same as right here. And then this last number, bump it up to the next one, seven and four tenths. If it helps you to think about where this number falls, where you can always add those zeros after. Right in the middle, keep this the same, 7.3, and then the next, right in between this 300 thousandths and 400 thousandths would be 350 thousandths. So think about where does 7 and 315 thousandths fall? About there, maybe a little bit further down. And it's definitely going to roll down toward this side which means seven and 315 thousandths rounded to the nearest tenth is about seven and three tenths, or maybe seven and 300 thousandths. You may see this also with a straight number line. So in your interactive notebook, take a second and copy in the curve number line. And underneath that, we're going to make a straight number line. Okay, so if you have your curved number line copied into your notebook, then underneath that, let's get a straight number line copied. Straight-ish. It's going to be exactly the same idea, but you're not going to have the curve to show you where the ball or the point will roll. Um, this time, we're going to round this one to the nearest uh, hundredth be a little bit trickier. So we need to think which two hundredths is seven and 315 thousandths between. Same thing as last time. You can kind of think about the number stopping here. This is your lower number, seven and 31 hundredths. And your next number is going to be just one hundredth higher, seven and 32 hundredths. If it helps. You can add those little zeros at the end. In the middle, this is going to tell us which way our imaginary ball is going to roll. What number is exactly in the middle of 310 thousandths, 320 thousandths? Well, it's 7 and 315 thousandths. Huh. Exactly the number I was looking for. So if this was really on top of the ramp, it wouldn't roll either way. But we know that our rule is if it's on the 5, that it rounds up to the next one. So for us, seven and 315 thousandths is about seven and 32 hundredths or seven and 320 thousandths. Okay, so make sure you have your curve number line and your straight number line copied in your notebook. And there's one more thing that we're going to add at the end. Okay, we're gonna add in how you can show, that, show your work with rounding without actually having to draw out the number line. You are definitely always free to do that, but if you're like me and you like to keep things simple in your notes and in your work, 
um, you might not want to do that. So stick a different number this time, maybe 2.483. If you were asked to round that to the nearest tenth, you can think in your head instead of drawing out the number line, okay, what two tenths is 2 and 483 thousandths closest to? I know it's 2 and 4 tenths and 2 and 5 tenths. You can kind of write those notes out to yourself and then think, all right, 5 tenths, 4 tenths, maybe add the zeros if you need to. Oh, I see that. 483 thousandths is much closer to this one, so you can just do your little arrow like that, and that will give you your answer. Okay, now on your left side, um, you're going to do a little reflection to show that you kind of understand the video. Um, clear off what happened on the right side. You're going to go over to your left side. Okay, and you're going to write a reflection. Um, I'm going to give you a number, and you're going to round this number to the nearest tenth and then give me some sort of explanation of how you know. So it might be um, a number line, it might be a curved number line, it might be the little shortcut that I just sh showed you of writing, just writing the numbers um, on either side. It could be a paragraph explaining how you know. Somehow show that you know you got the right answer. So your number is going to be three and 400, 92 thousandths. And remember, you're going to round this to the nearest tenth. Explaining how you know.